Hi guys. It's 10 to 12 at night and I just decided to start the whole video again because it was going to be easier. Besides, I kept stuffing it up anyway, so... <laughs> so instead of trying to butcher together loads of little bits, I thought sod up, just delete and start again. Right, so before I show you the new bike, let's have a little chat. <laughs> um, Sure, I heard voices outside. Either that or I'm hearing things. Anyway, that lady's bike I bought home yesterday, done, done, dusted, sorted. Uh, just got to whack on a couple of mud guards for her tomorrow and uh, raise the seat about an inch for her. And she should be here around about three o'clock, and Mum should be up town tomorrow as well. So we've got another busy day. Because I've got another bike I want to uh, get done. It shouldn't take me long because it's just a matter of throwing it in the tube in the back wheel, changing the front wheel, and setting up the brakes, and that should be good to go. Uh, so, in theory, when I say it like that, it sounds like it's not going to take very long to do at all, but uh, <laughs> things don't always go as planned. Uh, I don't know what that boy's one outside to do I'm going to try and get something at least something done on that tomorrow if I can um, I've only charged a 20 quid for this bike because uh, it's not the most brilliant of bikes it rides nice I was riding it around earlier um, but the frame is just a little bit rough looking the stickers of um, what of um, what they call crazed they're just full of cracks and lines uh, which is making it look a little bit untidy but apart from that it's a good old little bike uh, so that's my plans for tomorrow I've got a set of brake calipers to pack up and post and tomorrow night I need to sit here and I've got no fucking idea what I'm pointing the camera at. Much better. <laughs> at my forehead, I think. Um, anyway. I need to sit here tomorrow night and get some things listed up on eBay. I need to choose nine items. and so glad the cat didn't use his claws. Uh, that laptop Dick Cheese bought up yesterday, I've actually taken apart and thrown in the bin. Because... Uh, it had an intermittent fault. Sometimes I'd turn it on and it would literally turn off after about five seconds of me pressing the on button. Um, and when it did turn on, I couldn't even get an output on an external monitor, so it was pretty much DOA, dead on arrival. It would have needed a new motherboard and a new screen because that was smashed and that would have actually cost you over a hundred quid just for them two items so you might as well have just gone and got another laptop you know it, it, it wasn't worth it if it just needed a 40 quid screen I would have gone for it but that needed too much you know I've got that other one in the cupboard I need to get a screen for that I keep forgetting about Sniffing my t-shirt. <laughs> Should we go have a look at the bike? I zoned out for a minute there. Or for about ten seconds. <laughs> Get these lights on just for a bit of extra light. Put these ones on for a bit of extra extra light. So uh, here she is. Extender tube for the handlebars to 
make them higher. I've taken off because I've lowered the seat so I can get on it. And I've had to put in a different seat post because it did have a suspension seat post on it. But of course, the spring always has to stay above the frame or outside of the frame so the spring doesn't actually go in. So I had like that much height on the seat and that's just still far too high for me to get on it. I've actually noticed the front of this bike is actually rather high as well. I think them forks are quite long. Yeah, they are. They are because there's a much bigger gap between this and the shoulder of the forks up there. These are adjustable by the way. I can adjust these so however hard or soft I want them. Which is good. Disc brakes. Front and rear disc brake. The disc rotors are different. I'm not sure why. I'm guessing one was replaced at some point. Or maybe one is a brand new set. Possibly. <laughs> um, it's got weird gearing on this because uh, even in the hardest gear at the front, your legs still go around like fuck when you're in first gear. <laughs> so uh, that's why it's actually in third gear. I can ride it, you know, I can start off in third gear. That's how easy the gearing is. So it'd be great for um, climbing hills and whatnot. Um, it did have as well a mud flap mounted on the frame, which I took off because I was going to leave the mud guard on. But. <laughs> The mudguard doesn't like to stay on, so I left it off. In fact, I actually pulled this off with my hand, with no effort. You see, you tighten that screw up, and as you do, it uh, pulls down that plastic block, which splays out those four tabs, which is meant to lock it. Let's get the light. The lights didn't come on. There we go which is meant to lock it in that tube there <coughs> but it doesn't, it's crap so I took it off and I'm going to take the rear one off because I, I don't mind having the mudguard on there I just don't like that design so I'm going to take that one off and besides I need some room to put some lights on it and whatnot. I've got the light that came with it that's the front light um, he forgot to bring the little rubber band that hooks let me just turn the lights on again. That hooks over there and there, but I've got one somewhere. Actually, I know I've got a few somewhere, so I'm not too fast. Rechargeable battery pack, and that thing is bloody bright. That bag came with it as well. Which I took off, because uh, to me it looks daft. <laughs> so I thought, I'm just going to put it on as and when I need it. That seat actually looks relatively new. I think this has had quite a few new parts on it. These cables look new. So I'm guessing this has had um, a service. Uh, wheels need a clean. It needs a clean. It's got a bit of mud on it. I don't even know what speed this is. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Holy oh, fuck. That makes that a 27 speed. Jesus. <laughs> That might explain why as well, when I put it in first gear, you go around like fuck. Sweet. Didn't realise that was a 9 speed. I actually didn't even think to find that out when I was looking at it yesterday. When I first looked at that just now, I thought that was going to be an 8 speed, but no, that's a 9 speed cassette on there. Fuck me. 
If I stick road tires on that, fuck, I'd get some speed out of that. That is actually very, very tempting. To take those tires off the Schwinn and put these tires on the Schwinn, because I plan to sell that one anyway, and have this one as the road-going mountain bike. Because, fuck, <laughs> Because this is quite light as well for a mountain bike. Despite these thick bars. Oh yeah, the bottle cage came with it as well. Holy poopy. I didn't realise. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Needs a clean. Right. You've been fed, you just want attention. Because I've just been on the phone to Mum and... <laughs> he does it every time I'm on the phone or on the camera, he just wants attention. I'm going to clean this up. I've got a can of furniture polish downstairs. That might clean this up enough. And put that razor in. I'll make sure it bloody work. Actually, should we do that now? <sighs> this is going to do one of two things. This is either going to go bang... <laughs> Or it's going to buzz like it normally does. I can't... I'm not going to guarantee... The blades will cut. I'm not going to try it on my face either. Right. It's set to 240 volt. Good. So we plug that end into there. This would never pass an electrical safety inspection these days because... It's natural two core single insulated cable. I've plugged it in. Well, that bit worked, it buzzes. works in that sense but like I said I'm not going to try it on my beard because uh, it's too thick I'd actually be surprised if this did work okay. All right. so it's tried and tested it does work as in it turns on <laughs> turns on and it makes the noises it's meant to make. I just like this bit. <laughs> I suppose as it's part of the kit I'll have to include it. I did want to keep it but what the fuck am I going to do with that? What's it got written on it? Made in... England. Yeah, if you're wondering what that is, that plugs into your ordinary light socket on the ceiling. And then you've got them two holes there that you plug in your European style plug. Like that. Because <laughs> back in the day houses didn't have many plug sockets and as that would have been low ampage anyway you could have plugged it into your light socket I haven't actually got anything in here now uh, no did have when I first moved in <laughs> because I've gone around I've changed all the light fittings and whatnot I don't have a bog standard pendant light fitting with a you know the bay with the bayonet cap socket. Turn these lights off now. Still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with that lock yet. Right. Alright, I've got 
five minutes for my time. I like to try and limit myself to around 20 minutes. Um, on the Regenerate North Walsham group tonight, they've been uh, talking about the decline of the um, high street. And it's happened in lots of towns, not just this one. And, you know, people have said it's the fault of the rates, business rates and the rent. And other people have said it's the fault of um, the shops being too small. And um, what was the other one? Lots of different reasons, but the bottom line is there's actually more than one reason why shops, you know, the little small shops just can't survive anymore. I mean, nowadays, your big chain stores, they can sell everything cheaper. And you've then got internet shopping. You know, you've got Amazon, eBay, <coughs> big department, I'm going to try that again, big department stores like Argos, you can order online and have it delivered. Even Lego, you don't have to go to a Lego shop or a toy store, you can order it online and have it delivered. <laughs> so, there's that, which is actually, you know, it's good for people who can't get out maybe, or work all day and can't actually get to the shops because you know the internet is open 24 7 so it's handy for them but at the same time it's sort of inadvertently helped to kill the high street I mean I remember when I was growing up there was just loads of various shops in town you know, there was a little electrical shop where you could have got lots of electronics type bits from. There was two or three shoe shops. There was four greengrocers at one point. Three pet shops. About half a dozen hairdressers back then. There's a bit more than that nowadays. Uh, there was your usual banks and estate agents and whatnot. Um, trying to think. Three electrical retailers, because you had Hughes, JB Postal, and Plumber Brothers. Uh, but now, the lady that ran the retail side of Plumber Brothers retired, so they closed the shop down. So they've, they only do the electrician side of it now. Uh, so Hughes took over their old shop uh, Roy's was open when I was younger I think that opened in the early 90s in town I think don't hold me to that one <laughs> I know before that it was a supermarket that was actually fine fair before that I remember you can actually see the outline of the old fine fair sign on the um, wall round the back. Uh, yeah, we actually had three, about four bakers, at least two butchers, one fishmonger. We had lots. We had a shop where you could go in and get all sorts of various. Uh, spices and herbs etc um, two or three jewelers this is when I was growing up this is all what was in town together now it's just well to put it bluntly fuck all because with the ever increasing costs of living and the expensive rent on the shops because they're not very big shops in town you know, small shop, high rent. I don't actually understand how that work. I would have thought the bigger the shop, the higher the rent, you know, because you've got bigger floor space, but... Nope. <coughs> you can get... Then you got the business rates. See, that's why charity shops can survive. 
they have reductions in um, business rates. Uh, I don't think they get reductions on rent, but I know they get reductions on the business rates. So, of course, it's easier for them to survive. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we had two or three clothes shops as well. Now we don't have one. <laughs> Jesus, there was Tatters, Dragonfly, the Clothes Horse. There's one more that I can't remember the name of. But again, because places like Sainsbury's and Roy's were selling clothes cheaper, people went there ignoring these little businesses and eventually, because they weren't making enough money to keep going, they closed. And funny enough, now there isn't any clothes shops in town at all. Roy's have put all their prices up. And after they did the renovations... Funny that, isn't it? Same with the um, Sainsbury's petrol station. That was the cheapest place in town to get petrol from. Even when Summerfields had the gas station. And as soon as every last small gas station in town closed down, they put their prices up. I didn't blame it on... Um, the cost of crude oil. But that's happened everywhere, you know, m many small gas stations have closed everywhere or been taken over by a supermarket. You know, Morrison's is the leading one in Cromer. That's the only one in Cromer, so it's got the monopoly there, and it wasn't to begin with. Cromer had several, like lots of other towns, you know, they had more than one. I could drive around a lot of towns here in Norfolk and find a lot of closed old gas stations and garages because they couldn't compete with the supermarkets. But funny that, now all the little ones are gone, supermarkets put their prices up. <coughs> so uh, I'm not usually one for conspiracy theories or anything like that, but I do think that was engineered deliberately. Anyway, I think I've rambled on for a lot longer than I wanted to, so I'm going to shut this video down. <laughs> Before I could chat all night, I really could. But my batteries won't last, and I don't think people would watch like a six-hour video. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I will talk to you again at some point tomorrow. Probably about this time again, at least some point in the evening do a vlog. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll uh, talk to you again tomorrow. Bye!